All right, welcome to the third video of this mini series on how to stream XR experience to your device using the Iser SDK provided by Hololite. And this video and of course this series is sponsored by Hololite who is the creator of the Iser SDK and the Iser SDK allows you to turn any XR experience into a streamed experience. So imagine you don't have enough power on this little device over here so you are um, having frame problems you want to push too many polygons into this little device same for the hololens with streaming you can offload all the computing power to a pc or a server on the cloud and then just stream the um, finished um, image to the device basically and that is something that we will show you in this video how to do it for the hololens let's get started all right let's start with another fresh project so here, yeah, we see already the old VR setup and now basically we're gonna do pretty much the same. So either AR setup, either uh, AR setup, I think we had it without the underscore, but again, that's totally up to you. We will again choose the 3D core and the 2023 LTS. So create project and you know where it's going. So there we are, fresh new Unity project, and we need to do two things. We need to install the Iser SDK, and we need to install the MRTK, so the Mixed Reality Toolkit, if you want to build on the HoloLens or on Android phone. Let's start with the MRTK. So here we are on the official GitHub side of the Mixed Reality Toolkit, and da -da 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 -da, that's already the version that we need. Let me just go back to 7.3. But don't worry, I will also leave a link of the documentation in the description. So it's always up to date. And in here we can download the, da -da 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 -da, where is it? The foundation package. I have it already, but uh, feel free to download it. And then um, we will start with this one. And the next package that we are going to need is the Iser SDK, of course. So you will find it in the GitHub repository. But the cool thing is you will also find it in the asset store. I will show it to you in a second. But if you are here, then we go to releases. And over here we see that's the current version uh, at the time of recording, 2.4. And da -da 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 -da, scrolling down, here you have the source code, which you can um, open up and then you can import it into Unity. But you can also look up the ISA SDK in the asset store and here you also see that um, the ISA SDK or like Hololite is a Unity verified solution partner which kind of like gives a bit more trust then it's not like a random asset basically that you can find. So they are really like working together that things work out well. And what I would recommend you though is to still use it from the GitHub version because here you see the current version is um, 2.3 because usually it kind of takes some a bit more time and more effort to update it in the asset store like with all the verifying process all of that stuff and if you just go to the um, github page chip, there we go we always have the first version that is available since the developers upload it directly there of course once you have downloaded the tools then we can get started and import them so let me just drag it in real quick so that is the mixed reality toolkit Da, 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 preparing package and here we go so everything is um, in here 2.7 import once it's finished importing you want to go with the openxr plugin so you have like multiple options how you want to use the mrtk and that probably again takes a couple of minutes to uh, initialize blah 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 like setting up videos are mostly just um, loading bars really if Unity asks you if you want to use the updated Unity Engine input APIs, then you click yes and you know it, you wait again. And there we are. So now we are done with the MRTK and we can import the Iser SDK. Therefore, you can go to Package Manager. You can click on this little plus icon over here. You go to the download folder, Iser SDK, and in here you find packages. You will need both packages, the MRTK and the Iser. Let's start with this one package.json and now the same for the extensions so packages hololite.isermrtk package.json and there we go now we have the iser sdk and the mrtk in our project and we need to finalize this setup by doing a few things first of all we are in the package manager already so hit version and then you should see this version control package if you don't see it even better because we have to remove it so let's hit remove 
and there we go so we don't need this one because it may cause some issues and um, some some problems so that's why we can just get rid of it and now we have to activate the ISO SDK so let me just close the package manager or one second I can just show you what we have now in project oh we can yeah so we have the ISO core 2.4 ISO MRTK extension 2 by 4 and the MRTK which I don't see because maybe it is a preview package so let me just open it up and ah we have it not as a package we have it in the folder like this so that's why we don't see it in the package manager but um, here we see also the MRTK so file now we need to do yeah the activation build settings player settings and in here in the XR plugin management we want to um, choose the ISA XR otherwise unity will crash when you start it and you want to use it so that's um, not too ideal and yeah that's it almost already so there are a few things um, that makes the whole process much easier now we would have to specify the profiles and set up the MRTK scene many um, steps we would have to do but the cool thing is um, Holder I thought of this and they wanted to make the process as easy as possible uh, which makes our lives as developers <laughs> really easy because you can just go to either and then configure MRTK Chip. there we go everything is done so now we see okay we have the profile loaded we have the scene finished here we can basically almost hit play and we are ready to go the last important thing that you want to check is the config file so you find it under packages then either core here runtime and resources don't worry you don't have to remember it i will leave a link in the description i will also leave an Im image over here so then you find it and here we have the remoting config if we open the remoting config it basically tells either how to render the streamed experience and this is different depending on the device you're using because of course the hololens has a different um, resolution than the quest and this one is also different from any AR uh, Android device basically so that is something that we always have to specify whenever we um, check out the project and we have different devices so this one is for example set for the Oculus Quest right now with the resolution and um, I will yeah, show you an image of, a, of the table for all the other devices but for the HoloLens we have to do 1414 by 936 uh, so oop, one second 4040 and here uh, 936 that's a weird resolution number but we just go with it the number of views is two so that's um, the two views we always see the right side and the left side and the, band the bandwidth is um, specified according to the HoloLens documentation 35k but um, I think you can also increase it if you want to have like a, if you have a better network available hit control S and now this is kind of the, the important setup you don't want to miss otherwise you get get some you can get some weird um, stretchings and weird colors and uh, not cool behavior so don't forget to do this one and also really important uh, I did this mistake so there are two remoting files remote config files so there's this one that i just mentioned to you the one here um, packages the um, isa package runtime resources and then there's another one inside of streaming assets so you don't want to change this one because that will um, yeah, not work basically it will be overwritten by some other web values so it's really important that you use the one that i have mentioned first which is in the packages isa core runtime and then resources oops over here so you want to use this one now we can hit Control s to save everything we are good to go and that's it really for the whole pc setup now what you now can do is you can go to file build settings you can build the project it's a windows project um, over here which you then can use on your pc to stream it to your hololens or you can actually um, upload it to the hololite cloud which um, is something that we can cover in some future videos or you can also host it yourself um, somewhere you can do, do it in AWS using a static IP and then um, just put that IP address inside of your HoloLens but that's really up to you so let me just um, build it and then I can show you what you have to do on the HoloLens side to get the client there and then to connect the two to each other so that is our PC build if you want to stream the experience you would open it in here but now let me show you what you have to do inside of the HoloLens 
Alright, let's check out how it looks natively in the HoloLens and we see it looks pretty bad, so that is not using either. We see we have like 8, 9 FPS and um, yeah, it looks really not nice and it actually looks much worse in the HoloLens. Let's now see how it looks with either activated. So now we are using Iser. First of all, we have to put the IP address in. No worries, I will show you in a second how it works right after the section. Now we just hit connect. And now yeah, that actually opens up the Iser streaming application. So now imagine the whole processing power is on the PC that is being streamed. So you on the HoloLens, you only see the image. And we see yeah, it looks um, better already. And we see like 46, 47, 50 FPS and um, a much smoother image. So there are two ways on how you can get the client to the HoloLens. We can first of all go to the um, folder we just downloaded, the ISA SDK trial. Here we have all the clients and HoloLens 2. So you can install this package over here to your HoloLens device. If you don't know how to install any packages to the HoloLens, check out this video here. I, will, um, I have a complete tutorial on this. But what you can also do, which I think it's even easier, is you can basically just get it from the Microsoft Store. So as a client and then you log in from your HoloLens, you click get and then you have the client on your HoloLens, which makes the whole thing even easier. And then finally, what you want to do is you want to take your IP address from your PC or whatever device you are streaming from and enter it in the HoloLens. So you find it by going to your Wi-Fi settings and in here. If they're both in the same network, that is important. And you find your IPv4 address over here. So we can use the local address um, in our case, in this example. But again, you can also host it in AWS, for example, or any other um, server, cloud architecture, whatever you want to do. You use a static IP and then just put this one in and that should also work fine. So that's it already. As you could see, the process is quite simple. We basically have to import the ISA SDK and the MRTK, set it up by just pressing this button here, configure and do some small things. And then you are ready to stream your experience from any server to, or any PC to your um, device basically. And yeah, super cool. Thanks again to Hololite for sponsoring this video and this mini series. It's really cool and it, I think it can help the community a lot. And I see a huge, huge, huge potential in streaming XR applications because um, yeah, I mean, these things, they don't have the best performance, let's say it like this. We really had to break down every single model. So that um, solution that you guys have is really amazing. And um, to you watching the video, if you have any questions, of course, regarding XR streaming or anything regarding AR VR creation, then please leave them in the comments below. This channel is really focusing on your needs and whatever you communicate, we will do more of. So let us know if you like the series and if you like the video, then um, show it to the algorithm, you know it already. That helps the channel a lot. And um, yeah, I would say otherwise, I will see you in the next one.